going on Twitchers, it's Chumisif here and welcome back to another vlog. This vlog I'm going to be recapping the amazing Swifter Survival Week that we just had. Uh, it was May 13th through May 19th and uh, I would just like to say thank you guys so much for making this week so much fun. Um, I just want to go through the week, recap uh, just how I've been feeling about my channel since I posted that um, more serious type vlog last week um, and how I think this week has definitely revitalized me and my spirits um first of all just want to say i do need a haircut i know i'm gonna get comments people say my hair is outrageous it is outrageous i'm looking at it right now and i need a haircut really badly i've been putting that off for quite a while so i i need to do that this week um so i just wanted to get that out of the way and let you know that yes i know that my hair is out of control and i need to take care of it especially before my wedding which is in like a month now so craziness anyways so um i got my phone here and i'm gonna be kind of just going through the videos and i just wanted to talk to you guys directly and let you know uh, what this week has has been to me what it what it has meant to me uh, from a creative standpoint from a youtuber standpoint because um, I don't know most of the times I just will tell my friends about this or my fiance about this type of stuff but I feel like I want to share it with you guys because this week was all about you and definitely something I want to do again so uh, I posted the video for my fans on May 12th uh, and got absolutely insane amounts of feedback from you guys. Um, first of all, that that right there, uh, and I think, let me look here on my, on YouTube. <laughs> 30,000 comments and 13,000 likes. That That's insane. And what that showed me was that you guys really do still care about me and my content. And I know, I know a lot of you guys are going to say, well, of course we do. But to see that kind of feedback and that kind of response to a video like that where I really opened up and, and told you exactly how I was feeling and to see that reception um, and that amount of feedback come back was super, super, super like motivating for me. And it was really, really um, powerful. It was really powerful and it really um, sort of changed um, my outlook on things. Just it, it was a pick me up. It was definitely a pick me up. So I wanted to I hit my mic. I wanted to thank you guys so much for doing that. Um, and I am still going through those comments. I'm going to try and read every single one of them. All 30,000 of them. It's it's hard. Every time I go back, I'm like, okay, where did I leave off? Because more and more come in. Um, but uh, but yeah, I, I've been going through that. So I, I looked through those comments and got a lot of good ideas for different things. And actually, I think before I even posted that video um, that day on the 12th, I came up with sort of my first creative idea that I had had in a really long time, and that was to do a survival week. Um, so the following day, I obviously um, jumped right in, and the next episode that day on the 13th was Twisted Survival episode 10. And um, and then on that, the, the day after that, on the 14th, I posted um, another survival game this episode, and then my vlog announcing what Swifter Survival Week was. And I was just, I was really, really excited that I had this idea, and I had this sort of, um, creative the creative juices just kind of had come back and even if it was just a one-time thing um, that I'm gonna get before I actually take my much-needed break like I said in my my vlog um, you know the video for my fans uh, you know for my honeymoon and everything uh, it was definitely something that I needed I needed that that sort of spark of creativity and um, so so making a themed week is something that I had never thought of before and I really really enjoyed it and I know that you guys did too um, so along those lines, I just want to say that Swifter Survival Week, this is just the first one. We may do, I may do this more. Uh, I had even seen some comments of people saying do a Swifter PvP week, uh, where I play all PvP type games. And moving forward, these things don't have to be just Minecraft related. Like, they can be any game related, and I will make sure to announce them, um, appropriately when, uh, when, when I do them. I'm not, they're not going to be all the time, they're not going to be every month, um, you know, it may be something that, uh, quite honestly, it could become something that I honestly just forget about because I, my mind, I have ADHD. And my mind, it works like this. It's really fast. And sometimes I just forget about stuff. Um, even series that I'm doing, I'm like, oh, shoot. Yeah, I haven't posted a video from that in like quite a while. Uh, that's the, that kind of stuff happens to me all the time. And it's just not really anything I can help. But anyways, um, Switch to Survival Week is definitely something that I would love to do again. Um, and I had a lot of fun jumping on servers this week and announcing the servers through Facebook and Twitter and playing with you guys. I know a lot of you guys have been in my videos and of course if I'm playing a game like survival games where there's only 24 people, um, you know, only 23 Swifters or if I'm with a friend, only 22 Swifters can play with me at a time. 
Um, but it's really, really fun to to interact with you guys in, in that way and maybe kill you or be killed by you or whatever. You know, I, I know a lot of people go on servers and they just want to get my screenshot, and that's that's totally fine. Um, although being mobbed on servers isn't the most uh, fun thing in the world, I guess. Uh, it can be kind of annoying. But anyways, uh, <laughs> so um, I was really glad to, to anyways, you know, dive back into survival games. I want to start doing more of that. I know a lot of you guys have said that you uh, that you wanted to see more survival games. Um, and a lot of people have also been saying that they want to see more survival games with Frodo. So um, that's coming too. Frodo and I actually, we have plans to record more survival games this coming week. Um, so do not worry. The old style sort of survival games with Frodo will be back. Uh, that should be really fun. And then, you know, I did another episode of Twisted Survival, um, did some episode, uh, the, the uh, uh, what day was that? Let's see. I think that was the 15th, I think. Um, I posted two episodes of Survival Games. That was really fun. I liked doing that two in one day. That was really cool. Uh, the feedback on both of those was amazing. Uh, and by feedback, if you, if you don't know, it's, it's likes and comments and just like general interaction and all that type of stuff really motivates me to keep doing what I'm doing and um, you know likes especially definitely show me that like okay this is a this is a piece of content that you guys really enjoyed um, and you really liked so uh, moving into um, the next day and that was when I posted the walls my phone is going off like crazy stop it everyone stop I'm trying to do a vlog uh, <laughs> so uh, the walls is another thing I want to talk to you guys about because the feedback on that video was unbelievable. Uh, right now, as I'm looking at it, there's almost 3,000 comments and over 14,000 likes. That's crazy. So what that tells me is you guys want to see a whole heck of a lot more of the walls. And the good news is I have a bunch recorded already. Um, I think I have, I don't know how much is, is usable because I really want, I would like to post my best rounds. Um, I don't think it would be really enjoyable to post a round where I die early or whatever, but um, there will be a lot more walls coming and I'm, I'm thinking that you guys have really spoken and I've, I've seen it on Twitter Facebook YouTube everywhere that you guys want to see the walls turn into a regular series so uh, that's definitely gonna be something that's happening um, I'll talk more about that probably in episode two of the walls um, and then following that was mine Z which I never tried before and you guys suggested and it was really really freaking fun and <laughs> I'm gonna be doing more of that as well I know a lot of you guys expressed that you wanted to see more mine Z also and then just post earlier today was Skyblock Warriors, which was also requested by you guys and uh, had a blast with that as well. So uh, moving forward into this summer, um, the thing I really loved the most about Swift of Survival Week wasn't that it was called Swift of Survival Week. It wasn't even that I got to play with you guys. It was the fact that it brought me back to, I think, a much higher energy level and passion that I, I think had been lacking for quite a while, to be honest. Um, I looked at a lot of the comments on uh, the video for my fans that I posted last weekend and um, that was like one of the main things was that you guys just for some reason felt like I wasn't as um, silly anymore or energetic anymore and I was reading those and it kind of took me aback for a second because honestly it wasn't anything that I did intentionally I know a lot of people were saying like that I was act I've been acting more serious lately or whatever and I don't know if that's just a result of like a maturity thing where I just am like growing up or if that's because I'm like getting married and, and have been thinking about those types of things or if it's just the fact that like I fell into a rut and I just got into a slump and when that happens you don't really realize what's going on with yourself like you just sort of fall into a pattern and you think you're doing everything the right way but then when you step back or you you know, I reach out to you guys and say, what am I doing wrong? And you give all this amazing feedback, then it's like, oh, maybe they are right. Like maybe I am not doing something correctly. And so this week for me has been really trying really, really hard to, to, to capture that and to like, just have more fun with what I'm doing. And by me doing these new types of mini games within Minecraft, it's totally reinvigorated my energy, not only for the game of Minecraft, but for these, these, mini games because when I log in and I play the walls for instance it does not feel like I'm playing Minecraft it feels like I'm playing a totally different game it doesn't feel like I'm doing a let's play of Minecraft or whatever and mine Z is like the same way like I log in and I'm the game mode is they, they change and that's the beautiful thing about Minecraft is that you have all these game modes and all these different things that are still within the same game but it's 
feels like a different game. Like, you can't sit down and play Call of Duty and be like, I'm gonna play Minecraft in Call of Duty. But you can kind of sit down in Minecraft and be like, well, I can play I can play Call of Duty in Minecraft. And actually, some of that stuff's coming this week. Uh, so, um, you know, there's a mini game out there called Quakecraft, which is a first person shooter in Minecraft. Some of those, uh, I recorded a bunch of that this week as well. It didn't fit for like the survival week aspect. So I'm saving that for this coming week just as a normal video or whatever. But, you know, I've got a lot of stuff stockpiled and saved up. Um, I got to go through and edit now within the next couple days because actually at the end of this month, um, things are going to get really, really busy for me because um, the wedding is coming up and I just need to um, be traveling home and getting my haircut and <laughs> doing all sorts of silly things um, in anticipation for the wedding. So um, I'm working really hard to get some content saved up so that when I do go on my trip, you guys will still have stuff to watch um, and I won't have to have to worry about it and I can just take the actual break that I, I desperately still do need. Um, but I feel like Switch Survival Week was a breath of fresh air and I'm really excited that that this happened and that you guys were so interactive with it um, and I really really hope to do this again so um, moving forward I uh, just would like to say thank you so much for all of you guys that joined the Facebook event as well um, the interaction on my own Facebook page has been outrageous this week also and that's been really cool too because um, I'm trying to grow that social network a little bit as well uh, along with my Twitter and everything like I want to be able to connect with you guys as, as much as possible so um, so moving forward this coming week, it may feel like Swifter Survival Week all over again. Um, it's not going to be called that, but uh, you know, this coming week you'll see more Twisted Survival episodes, probably more survival games, probably more episodes of The Walls, probably more Mind Z. Um, and the reason that I'm not calling it Swifter Survival Month is because I don't want to overdo it. Um, I know I'll be posting those types of things, but the reason I'm posting those types of things is because I feel like Swifter Survival Week has sort of spawned all these new series. And just because I did the walls and you guys enjoyed it during Switcher Survival Week doesn't mean that I don't want to continue it. So I do want to continue it. I'm really enjoying the walls. It's amazing. I really hope that it becomes a really big thing for my channel and that you guys start to really enjoy it and and have fun watching those videos or playing with me or whatever. Uh, and same goes for Mind Z, Survival Games, um, you know, all that stuff that that's out there. There's a there are even a bunch of more mini games now that I have yet to try out that are survival based and a lot of people have asked me to play a game called Wasted or survival um, a mini game called Wasted or something gotta try out all that stuff so I'm slowly diving into this I don't know what took so long all this stuff's been out for quite a while but um, finally I guess I'm just coming around to it I'm getting out of my funk and the slump that I was in so I have you guys to thank for that but uh, yeah just wanted to thank you guys so much for an amazing week uh, moving forward I really hope that the support continues and that um, you know audience engagement like likes comments favorites all that stuff on the videos just keeps going up and up and up um, and then in turn I hope you know I hope the views continue to increase because um, that tells me that I'm doing a good job and if I'm doing a good job and making entertainment entertaining content for you guys then you'll continue to come back and if you continue to come back then the more then there'll be more views and it's just better for everybody and so I want to I, I want to know and have the self gratification that what I'm doing is successful um, whether I'm whether I'm enjoying it or not I would prefer to always enjoy what I do um, and you should as well uh, and this week I've definitely I've definitely definitely enjoyed it so um, amazing week thank you all so much for participating and just being awesome and, and encouraging me and continuing to believe in me and push me to make better and better content for you guys and um, you know like I said Things are going to be a little bit crazy here coming up for me, and I hope that you all will be very, very patient um, with me moving forward as there might be some times where I just won't have time to post anything or even post stuff on Twitter. I know, you know when I take my break and, and, and getting married, like it'll probably seem like I'm dead because I'm not going to really do anything. I mean, I might have videos go out and stuff, but uh, I'm going to try and lay off of like Twitter and Facebook and stuff just for a while because it's time I should, should be with my family. So. Um, just ask, you know, I just ask for your patience and support through all that stuff. And, uh, yeah. So, so after Survival Week, this is one of many. I think we'll have to do it again. But, uh, just like to say thank you guys again, and I will talk to you later. Peace!